So why do we look at these data deviations? Because the economic calendar can give us high probability trading opportunities. And here's one that we got recently. On Friday, the 4th of October, we had a very strong non-farm payrolls print, which gave us a good opportunity in the euro dollar pair. Now, taking a look at the cheat sheet, we were looking ahead for this, recognizing that if we had a strong non-farm payrolls print with the headline above 181, unemployment rate 4% or lower, average earnings 3.9% or higher, this would be a good opportunity for euro dollar sellers. Now, we didn't want to go long dollar yen because of the geopolitical risk that was currently going on. So it was a euro dollar short that we were looking for. Then looking at the economic data, we saw a strong head headline print well above the maximum expectations, 254 and the previous revised higher. Unemployment rate was down 4.1% towards the low end of expectations, and that's pushing in the opposite direction to where the Federal Reserve was projecting in their last interest rate meeting. So even though it didn't come in below you know, 4%, it was still a tick, and the average earnings look stunning above market's maximum expectations and the previous revised higher and the month-on-month -month higher, and the prior revised higher for the month and month. So as we took that risk event, it was a clear opportunity to see euro dollar sellers. And we saw out of the event, euro dollar sellers came in heavily and quickly. Uh, and it depends where you got in. I got a very bad fill and got in right near uh, the end and just took profit as we moved down into this big sort of support area that was down here on the daily chart. And I was looking for an opportunity to sell the euro dollar from any retracements high and that remains the case as of today on the Monday but just that's why we look at these um, high probability calendar events to find these situations where it's very likely the market's going to move in one direction you can see that really the euro dollar just sort of sold off and stayed flat near the bottom for the entire day given the strength of that non-farm payroll print. So what are we looking at for this coming week? Now, there's a few events to note this week, and it's an interesting week, definitely one worth following along for. So the first thing to be aware of is the UK inflation data. Now, investors have been looking for an excuse to sell the pound for some time, and weak inflation on Wednesday would be just the green light that investors and markets are waiting for. Now, generally across the world, inflation prints are no longer important because it's largely being seen that inflation is under control and it's just happy to tick lower. Remember the Bank of Canada when we had that very high inflation print out of Canada, markets just ignored it and instead of the can uh, Canadian dollar gaining it, it just sold off. It's not going to be like that with the pound though because inflation data still is important for the UK and a big miss in the inflation data print will invite pound sellers to step right back in very quickly. So what we're looking for here is a clear opportunity to short the pound. Euro pound buying will make sense with the ECB uh, meeting on the following day. And the Euro pound are, uh, is not a bad pair for trading the pound against at the moment, particularly with markets sort of being a bit static ahead of the ECB decision on Thursday. So UK inflation data, definitely one for us to look at. ECB rate decision. Now, investors are... 93% pricing in an ECB rate cut for October. Now, there's been a shift here. And their last interest rate meeting, they kind of indicated that they wouldn't be cutting in October. And they said there's not much data out uh, before then. What we have seen, though, is really something quite different. We've seen a series of PMIs print to the downside. We've seen low inflation, the German regions were low. Obviously, the German nation as a whole had low inflation. Eurozone had low inflation. We also then saw some Germany, German business <coughs> metrics, business IFO index going lower. And just it's just been lower, lower, lower. Everywhere you've looked, it's just been low weak data for the Eurozone. And that means that the ECB um, are now expected to cut interest rates on, in October. If they don't expect Euro upside, uh, that will be a surprise. And we'll be looking at that for any sort of clear direction from the ECB in terms of, of where to go and what to do next. So that's not one to miss. Finally, US jobs data. This is going to be very important. The labor market is now an intense focus for the Federal Reserve. And the reason it's in intense focus is because it's the Fed's dual mandate. Stable prices, maximum employment. The in jobless data uh, from the past week, look, continued jobless claims ticking up, initial 
initial job was is ticking up. Um, that change pricing for the next interest rate decision out of the Federal Reserve and just decrease the chances of a hold. So we'll be keeping an eye on the jobless data. If we see another tick higher in that, the Fed will be more likely to cut interest rates and we can see some of that recent dollar strength unwind. So definitely not one to miss. So they're the three events that we're looking for next week and I look forward to seeing you in the webinars. And of course, I'll be trading some of these events live with the risk event and I'll also be updating the cheat sheet day to day. Have a very good week.